What's up, guys? Rich Gamer 997 here tonight. We're back on MLB The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. Now, today we're going to do something very special. We're going to go open the archetype pack. I finally got the silver. So now my guys are 72. And we'll see what we pick and what it will end up being. So, go to. And go to my collection. Inventory. My packs. And there it is. The archetype pack. So. Open. See what we get. So you got Spark and Speedster. Focus on speed and contact. Slick Speedster. Silver Archetype. Item focus on fielding and speed. And Slug and Speedster. Silver Archetype. Item focus on speed and power. Hmm. I don't know. Should I do speed and contact or speed and power? You know, I need a little bit more power, so I might go with this one. I need to hit some home runs. I'm not saying that right now I can't hit home runs because Anil can hit home runs. You just got to square the ball up real good. I don't know. The contact is pretty high. Power isn't pretty high. So. I don't know if you keep all three of them. And you can go back and change. Or you just pick one and that'll be it. I can focus on speed and contact. But yeah. I'm going to go with the power. But the, why didn't you pick it? Pick the damn card. Uh, uh, unless you get all three of them, and you maybe you can just go through, like skip through all three of them. All right, let's go to. Let's see what you got in these crappy packs. Have a glove, which probably ain't worth two dollars. Sell those hundred bucks. Mm. The second inning choice pack. Ooh. Sell now for twenty six hundred. Twenty six. Jim Hunter. Stamina 160. I can't add no more people to my lineup anyway. I'll sell now for 2600. Oh, oh. Show online, no matches found for this order. Really, all right. Quick sell for a thousand. Nah, I keep them. <laughs> Screw that. So, one play and go to my loadout archetype. So, you do get all three archetypes, so you can switch. 
in between. So you can go with speedster archetype. I put them up to a 76. They all pretty much just put you up to a 76. But this one, this one, increase power. Increase power to 61, 58. Add 22 to power, 43 to bunt, 43 to stealing. Feeling accuracy, bunt. position There's one in field and it's all focusing on L speed and steel and bonds. Field in is a seventy one plus twenty six. Accuracy is a sixty four plus twenty six. You can always go back and change them if you don't like what's happening, I guess. <laughs> so, you can go and look at the whole thing. Let's see what the missions are for this one. Uh, 30 plates appearances, 6 stolen bases, 8 extra base hits, 10 stolen bases, 20 stolen bases, 40 stolen bases, 20 extra base hits, and 45 extra base hits. So, yeah, this one's gonna... Missions are all different on this to get the gold. I have left with Seinfeld. I don't even remember which one I chose. <laughs> what the hell did I do? We're all 
about 52. gotta go put my glove back on man I hate that you always gotta what the hell why does it change my glove again that shit is crazy it's cray cray it keeps changing my glove every time I go to layout the stupid shit changes my glove Around. Hopefully now they won't be switching back to those stupid gloves and you keep on my glove. show from the bank citizens bank park in philadelphia today we've got a matchup of playoff hopefuls in the same division between the new york mets and the philadelphia the phillies new york Mets. please act and mark DeRosa, and today we've got a division matchup between two teams certainly setting their sights on october as we get deeper into the back half of the season guys that's right, Maddie. These two teams both figure to be fighting each other and the rest of the league down the stretch for postseason positioning. There's still a good amount of time left in the season, but this is when he's It's crazy because I watched T Martin's videos early. And he plays for Philadelphia and he was playing against the Mets. And now I'm playing and I'm playing against the Mets. <laughs> for it to be up, but he went down. High in the air out to center field. A Rosarito uh, is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Two-handed swinging, not swinging through the ball. Stepping in next, Joey Lucchese. 
directed out towards straightaway center field. O'Neill is there now, and he has it to gone. Three. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Richard O'Neill, flew out last time up. Almost, Matty, almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. Oh, just a second. Oh, 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 that suck ass. Uh, he made a hell of a stop out there. <laughs> I thought he was going to get it by him. Mean, he was playing, was playing close to that line like a mod trucker boy. Just a one for nine. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Center fielder coming on. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Ready now is Richard O'Neill. He bounced out last time up. And now the first pitch. Oh, that's a nasty ass cutter. A nasty cutter right there. That shit broke in on me like with quickness. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. High in the air out to center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Big yeah. now for Philadelphia. Richard O'Neill rounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns oh. himself with that. Wow. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. I'm way out in head in front of that shit again. That's crazy. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit on the ground out for short. Snooped up. Throw on the first in time. One away. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Four to two, the final score today. The Metropolitans came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. What the hell was it? Must have been a two game series. I think I played one of the games last night, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. September 9th is a special day across Major League Baseball when we celebrate the life and career of the great Roberto Clemente. Al Leiter is here, and Al, you're a winner of the Clemente Award for your work both on and off the field. What did winning that award mean to you? I, it's, it's the best baseball award I ever got I, as an individual. I, I, I was lucky enough to have been on some world championship teams, but you know, I, I wasn't good enough to win a Cy Young. I, and I just think it represents what Roberto Clemente was and who he was as a person. And it, we're more than just baseball players. I, I always yeah. felt that way, uh, especially as a starting pitcher. I know I had some latitude to be able to do some community service things for the club and in the community and, uh, you know, just to help out. And I, and I always thought that when you have a chance to help others any time when it wasn't a distraction with the guys that are playing or when your game days are, um, it's something that I'll never forget. And I think well deserving. I'm glad baseball is doing this uh, with respect playing. to honoring Roberto Clemente. That's well said, Al. Thanks. Practice for you. Stealing drills. I got better at stealing bases.
and the weather is crazy here. Two days ago, it was like 90 degrees, MLB, the show has sweating your nuts off on Wednesday, and now today it's 50 degrees and chilly as hell and raining. Chris Archer gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. Dan Plezak, what do you think? He's out. Chris Archer. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Miami. Now to the plate, here is Richard O'Neill. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder. Pitch on the way. Oh dear. High fly ball out to straight away oh. center. Yes, I still didn't wait long enough, wait back long enough on down. it to make it a perfect hit. <laughs> and I feel if you wait back on that friggin' ball, by the time you swing, it's gonna be by you. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. O'Neill gets under it and makes the catch to end. Digging in next, Richard O'Neill trying here to play the tying run from second. First offering. Swing and a liner. Now a long throw home. And not in time as the run scores. You love the aggressive base running right there. It's not easy to make that throw and give that catcher time to adjust his feet and get that tag. No, very aggressive send right there. You take a chance, you hope the throw is a little bit offline, and that paid off right there. Alec Bohan. The 0-2. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. I like that pitch on 0-2 there. Busted him in. And even though he missed with that one, that hitter isn't as likely to dive out. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the... Now to bat, Richard O'Neill. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Hit out to a second. He reined in. Wow. It's a four seam fucking fastball, and I was that far out in front of it? That's bullshit. They need to cal cal how you whatever you say. Calibrate this fucking game correctly. Cause I waited back on that ball. There's no way that four seam. Safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. That brings oh, up Alec. Bone. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Draper, the runner in third. O'Neill in second with one away. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this. He has eight pitches. Sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Three and oh now. Well. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper gets next. Bryce Harper, the only trouble he causes is nothing. Welcome. Come on, Harper. Let's see what you can do. Bryce Harper. Harper. A line 
shot to third oh, base. Shit. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Oh. Fucking hard, bro. Supposed to be this great hitter. <laughs> and they hit him into fucking double play and shit. <laughs> I was losing to the fucking Marlins. Now with the plate is Richard O'Neill. He'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. This is on the ground over the So that's what I don't understand, man. I waited so long on that ball, and it's still early. Like, what the hell? Like, how fucking long are you supposed to wait? Yeah, do you have to count Mississippi's and shit? Like, take a couple pitches and count Mississippi to see when it gets to the plate? It's ridiculous. Posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Daryl Zuniga gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Daytime baseball from the home of the Phil since 2004, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Trent Thornton. Gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. So now here is Isan Diaz looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. High and deep to right center. Going back is the center fielder. Oh, wow. I just missed that shit. He's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smell blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three run job. And now in the box, Richard O'Neill. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. These Marlins, as they take the field this afternoon, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, they come into game two of this series, right? I have a huge one-run victory yesterday, able to do the little things to put them over the top. Stepping in is Jesus Aguilar. His prior history versus Ace this arm. He's 0 for 4. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a another fucking home run. Center field. Pitching is just so fucking shit. On this team sometimes. It's ridiculous. Boy, when this guy gets it. They need to pull that fucking pitcher. So here is Richard O'Neill, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lifted the other way to left center, giving chase is Brinson, but he won't get there. Into the gap it goes, and he is in at second base with a one-out double. So a runner on second with one down now, and that'll bring up Alec Bone. I swear they suck. Now at the plate here is Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That brings up Alec Bone. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Aguilar has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. And now here is Bryce Harper. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Runners off for second. This one's flared off to the right side. Devers moving to his left. And that's the third out. Three. 
<laughs> Miami just waxing our tail, yo. Digging in, the switch hitter, Richard Neal, singled in his last at bat. Offense just needs to find a way to get that past the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know like, I don't know how to fucking swing anymore. It's crazy. New inning set to get underway. And up next will be the power hitting first baseman, Big Jesus Aguilar. Hit in the air out to center field. O'Neill is right there, one down. Her pitching is trash. They're just getting toast. He's got one hit in four at bats. Swing and a little blooper to center. Segura ranging into the outfield, but he won't get there. It falls in. Way to battle right there. Hey guys, that wasn't mm, a bad. So he is depressing the buttons at all. Taking it, taking a pound in. Stupid shit. The fucking team is horrible, man. Sometimes it's just ridiculous. How can they be so bad? Like pitching is bad. The hitting don't do shit. Like it's just crazy. Live from Philadelphia, all set for. So now here is Richard O'Neill. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. Richard. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. A ball that's tearing. On the warning track, he makes wow. the catch. Striding in is Richard O'Neill. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch. Lifted down the line and left. You gotta be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Oh, that's a nasty single at 95. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. This is down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Go hard, go hard, go hard. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all. Why would they stop pitching? Is it? They're winning all the games. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. That brings up Alec Bone, runner in scoring position with Sigma. Ground ball, right side. Oh, look at Seeger. He's up with it. The throw. It's there. He got him. Brian Anderson, he scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. So he's quickly into scoring position. Next, it'll be Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit towards center. Come on, you scored. Come and that's in there. Base hit. And the go ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three to two. Struck out in his two trips to the plate. 
Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hit in the air to shallow center. O'Neill comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. single right here. That third base. Come on, go on. Meanwhile, go on. this ball's going to get on. through, and that's a base hit. They'll throw him to second. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance, and he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. at the hotel. Hit on the ground out to short. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. Really came alive in this game. Richard O'Neill, two RBIs already, looking for more here. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. There we go, no doubter. So no doubter. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. Third home run for him on the year as it's now a six run ball game. It's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. <laughs> and a bad Both flip is crazy. And his team <laughs> as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. 403 feet. at the end of this contest. Philadelphia took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Aaron Nola earned his ninth win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. No error. They left nine runners on base. Baseball on the show from the bank. Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Today, a matchup of division rivals at opposite ends. Stay division tuned for rivals. So here's the cleanup hitter, Richard O'Neill. And it's been a big yeah, series for him with that. He's collected eight hits already. Out of front of it, strike one. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Grounded up the first baseline. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it will be for naught as this is a foul ball. 
Redding, here's the 0-2 pitch. Another oh. sent foul. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Going back to the right fielder. Out of here. Wait back on that one and drive the shit out of it. <laughs> so a three-run shot to right center field. Fourth home run for him on the season. And the Phillies open up a three-to-nothing lead. I mean, batting and cleanup in this game. And switch the lineup. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. Oh, so he actually fully swung through the ball. We'll so he probably mistake. hit a home run. <laughs> and then halfway stop and swinging at the ball. at second and here's the left-handed hitting shortstop Didi Gregorius now bat explodes oh. on the bag on the bag right here on the bag no bad wind flying enemy. by next to hit Richard O'Neal he doubled his last time up first pitch on its way down the left field line and deep Way the 0 1 pitch. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. Throw into second. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two out double. Well, you see why these fans are so excited about this rookie. Yeah, Matt, and just a nice piece of hitting by this youngster. Not only does it look like he's going to be a solid contributor, it looks like he may be an impact player at the big league level for years to come if he can continue to learn and develop. He looks good to me. <coughs> so next to the plate for the Phils, Eddie Rosario, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Stand up right here, stand up, pick it up. In time, and the side is retired. That's ball four. Ball four, take your range. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. One for two on his line so far in the game. High fly ball out to straightaway center. O'Neill able to track it down for the third out. Your attention, please. Next to hit is Richard O'Neill. Three hits in three trips to the plate for him so far. First pitch of the AB now. He's going to eliminate that pitch right there. He was all over that, just wasn't able to keep it fair, but he's not going to see that pitch again. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And this is on oh, the that's bullshit, man. I'm too late on that one. Second for one on the first. And talk about. Wow. Well, now waited too long on that pitch. Hit in the air to shallow center. 
O'Neal comes on now, and he has it one down. Next, right it'll be Richard O'Neill, already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. Now a ball ripped into deep Red center field. Right on, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. Oh, the right at the one in track. track in the inning. <laughs> one in track power. Had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Seven to one, the final today. Philadelphia jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Three for five. <clears throat> Guys, until he starts doing something that we can write home about. Hitting balls 40 and 50 feet or throwing Ooh, 97 me. miles an hour with location. Let's calm down, please. Can we calm down? Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video and you love your girl to death, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Drop a like. Leave a comment. If you love your moms, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Remember, stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And most important of all, be kind to each other. Have a wonderful night. Peace.